Well, you know, tonight it was our hope to be talking about the Orioles gearing up for a date with the Houston Astros in the ALCS. But the team lost a few nights ago in Arlington, the untimely end of a memorable season. There's no crying in baseball, and as WMAR 2 News Jack Watson found out today, there isn't much of that in Baltimore right now. Jack? Well, Jamie, around town, especially around the ballpark, it's a lot quieter than what we'd like it to be. But what I'm seeing, optimism, a positive outlook after coming up short. They'll be ready next year. They'll be ready. Being a true fan means sporting the colors in good times and in bad. Herb Hawkins is a lifelong Baltimore Orioles fan. Their final game this year may be over, but here Herb is in Fed Hill Thursday, proudly representing the O's. Season was very well, the ending, yeah, but overall happy for him. You still see a lot of orange around town. We're home to a proud, die-hard fan base. Fans like Connor McKinney from Elk Ridge keeping things in perspective. I haven't done it in 44 years to, to break 100 wins, so I mean, you know, what else can you ask for? It was a clean sweep. Two losses at Camden Yards and one at the Rangers' home ballpark in Texas. Not the ending the town wanted, but with Adley, Gunner, and the rest of the squad largely returning in full, it feels more like a temporary setback. It hurt, especially after the Ravens L to Pittsburgh. It was just an insult to injury. Um, but I mean, like, I, like I said, Love my baby birds. Fans tell me they want to see pitching addressed this offseason. Unclear whether that's in the cards for the O's this winter, but at a post-postseason press conference, GM Mike Elias says they're working on things as we speak. One of the uh, unwanted consolation prizes of, of getting eliminated early is uh, you have a little bit more time to uh, prepare for the offseason. So we are sprinting ahead with doing that as a baseball ops department. Um, we got people upstairs right now. Uh, cranking on it. Baseball folk hero Rogers Hornsby once said, people ask me what I do when there's no baseball. I'll tell you what I do. I stare out the window and wait for spring. There'll be a lot of staring from now until March, but with fond reflection and hope. I'm so glad they came this far. It's been a, it's been a while. What, 2016 since they came that far? It gives us hope, man. It really does. I love it, man. I'm not disappointed in nothing, no. And that's the best way to sum it up. Gratitude for a great year and hopes they'll fly high next. Well, the Orioles open next season at home on March 28th against the Los Angeles Angels. For those keeping track at home, that's 168 days from now.